Hello everyone. In the previous maths video, we did one part of the first chapter of your syllabus that is large numbers. Today, we will be covering some more topics from this chapter. The first topic we have here is face value and place value. The face value of a digit in a number is the value of the digit itself. It does not depend on its position in that number and the place value of a digit in a given number is the value of the digit because of its place in the number. Hence it is called place value. If we change the digits in a number, the place value of these digits will change. Let us see an example. In the number 8456, the face value of 5 is 5 and the place value of 5 is 5 tenths or 50. Let us have a look at some more examples. What are the face values and place values of 5 and 6 in this number given here which is 65 lakh 74,410. Once more, as I mentioned in the previous video, writing the number down in the place value chart helps you to solve the question easily. So that's what we'll do here. We will place the number in a place value chart. You can see that 6 is in the 10 lakhs place and 5 is in the lakhs place. So let's start with the face values. The face value of 5 is 5 and the face value of 6 is 6. But the place values can be different. The place value of 5 is 5 lakh and the place value of 6 is 60 lakh. So you see this is how face value and place value are different. Now let us move on to another topic in this chapter that is expanded form. So you must have done expanded form a number of times before. So in this chapter 2 we will be doing it with 6 and 7 digit numbers. Also, there are two ways in which you can write expanded forms in words and in numbers. Let me show you some examples. The first number here is 3,31,421. So in words, we can write 3 lakhs plus 3 ten thousands plus 1,000 plus 4 hundreds plus 2 tens plus 1, 1. You can write it in figures directly as it is given here in green colored text 3 lakh plus 30,000 plus 1000 plus 400 plus 20 plus 1. I would like to point out one thing over here. Notice how we have written 3 ten thousands and 4 hundreds but only 1000 because the number is only 1. If it was 3 instead of 1 then we would write thousands. Let us have a look at the other example. Here we have 44 lakh 26,798. So in words we can write 4 10 lakhs plus 4 lakhs plus 2 10 thousands plus 6 thousands plus 7 hundreds plus 9 tens plus 8 ones. Or in figures we can write 40 lakh plus 4 lakh plus 20,000 plus 6,000 plus 700 plus 90 plus 8. So you see here we have used all lakhs, thousands, hundreds, tens and ones because there the numbers are more than one. I hope you were able to understand how to solve these questions. Now let's move on to the next part of the chapter. So up till now we were using a place value chart to represent the numbers before writing them in figures, words or before putting them in the abacus. Let us learn a little bit more about this place values. When there are many digits in a number, it becomes confusing to read the number. To avoid mistakes while reading and writing large numbers, the numbers are broken up into periods separated by commas. We can break up large numbers into periods using the place value system. There are two types of place value systems, Indian place value system and international place value system. So the numbers are broken up by inserting a comma after every period. Please keep this point in mind. I will repeat it once more. The numbers are broken up by inserting a comma after every period. So if you memorize the place value system and there are place values that come under each period, you will know where to place the commas. 
Let's have a look at the number place value systems. First we have the Indian place value system. In the first row on top, I have written down the periods and in the second row, I have written down the place values. As you can see, in the first period, that is once, we have three place values, once, tens and hundreds. In the second period, thousands period, we have two place values, thousands and ten thousands. And in the third period, that is the lakhs period, we have two place values, lakhs and ten lakhs. So this is the usual place value system that we use and we have been using in this chapter. Now, let us have a look at the international place value system. Here, too, we have three periods. In the first period, that is the once period, we have three place values just like the Indian place value system. Ones, tens and hundred. In the second period, the thousands period, we have three place values. Thousands, ten thousands and hundred thousands. And in the third period, millions, we have one place value that is millions. We do have more place values over here, but for now, we will learn only till millions. If you look at both these place values, you will notice that the first period in both these place values is exactly the same. That is, there are, that means there are three place values in the first period of both the place value systems. So the first comma that comes in a number is after three digits, whether we use the Indian place value system or the international place value system. Let's have a look at an example. If we look at five digit and four digit numbers, a four digit number like 5428 is written as 5,428 in both the systems. Similarly, a five digit number like 68,369 is written as 68,369 in both the systems because both the systems have three place values in their first periods and the comma is placed after three numbers. Now let us have a look at six and seven digit numbers because this is this way we see the difference. We have one six digit number and one seven digit number over here. When we put it in this Indian place value chart, this is how it looks. Starting from the ones place, after three place values, that is the first period, we have the first comma. And then after two place values, that is second period, we have the second comma. So the number 996342 looks like 9 comma 96 comma 342. And in the seven digit number, the first comma is after the last three numbers from the right, 192 comma 48, then another comma, then 3, 6. Always remember, we will start counting from the ones place, that is from the extreme right. Similarly, let us put these numbers in the international place value chart. Now, as we know, the international place value chart has three numbers in the first period and three numbers in the second period. So in the six digit number, the first comma is after three numbers and then there is no comma at all because at the end of the three numbers, the second period, the number also finishes. So we do not need to put any comma there. So the number will look like 996 comma 342. The seven digit number, the first comma is after three digits and then after another three digits, we have another comma. So the seven digit number will look like 6 comma 384 comma 291. I hope you were able to understand the difference between these two place value systems and where we have to put the commas. I have some more examples for you here. Here we have the Indian place value chart and I have three examples. The first one is a five digit number. So the comma is after the last three digits that is 548 and then a comma and then 76. So we read the number as 67,845. The next number is 174315. Once again, starting from the extreme right, 513, comma, 47, comma, 1. So we read it as 1,74,315. I hope you can notice how easy it becomes to say the place values of each number when we have these commas between them. Let's see another example. 3840089. Once again, starting from the extreme right, 980, comma, 04, comma, 83. 83. So now, in words, the number will be 
थर्टी एट लैख फोर्टी थाउजेंड एटी नाइन नाउ लेट्स हैव हैव अ लुक एट सम एग्जांपल्स इन द इंटरनेशनल प्लेस वैल्यू चार्ट हियर टू आई हैव सम एग्जांपल्स द फर्स्ट नंबर इज नाइन सेवन एट जीरो वन एट स्टार्टिंग फ्रॉम द एक्सट्रीम राइट एट वन जीरो कॉमा एट सेवन नाइन नाइन हंड्रेड सेवेंटी एट थाउजेंड एटीन लेट्स हैव अ लुक एट द नेक्स्ट नंबर सिक्स डबल जीरो टू फाइव जीरो वन सो स्टार्टिंग फ्रॉम द एक्सट्रीम राइट वन जीरो फाइव कॉमा टू जीरो जीरो कॉमा सिक्स दिस नंबर विल विल बी रेड एज सिक्स मिलियन टू थाउजेंड फाइव हंड्रेड वन नेक्स्ट वी हैव फाइव टू थ्री एट जीरो वन सिक्स अगेन स्टार्टिंग फ्रॉम द राइट हैंड कॉर्नर सिक्स वन जीरो कॉमा एट थ्री टू कॉमा फाइव सो वी रीड द नंबर एज फाइव मिलियन टू हंड्रेड थर्टी एट थाउजेंड सिक्सटीन आई होप यू वे एबल टू अंडरस्टैंड हाउ वी कैन राइट द नंबर्स इन वर्ड्स यूजिंग द इंडियन एंड द इंटरनेशनल प्लेस वैल्यू नाउ हियर आई हैव स्टार्ट the indian and international place value systems right next to each other so you will so that you can notice the similarities between them if we look at the first period we have the exactly same place values in both the systems now when we then move on to the next period we have little differences over here we have thousands in both the place value systems we also have 10000s in both the place value systems but when we come to the sixth place in both the space value systems we can see some differences the lakhs place in the indian place value system corresponds to 100000s in the indian sure. place value system similarly the 10 lakhs place in the indian place value system will corresponds to million in the international place value system so let's say for example i give you a question that 5 million in the international system, place value system will be equals to Five ten lakh in the Indian place value system, isn't it? And if I say four lakh in the Indian place value system, that will be equal to four hundred thousand in the international place value system. I hope you were able to understand the connection between these two systems. Now we come to the second exercise of this chapter. Here I have some a question. Write the following numbers in the Indian place value chart. so you have some 5 6 and 7 digit numbers over here all you have to do is place them in the indian place value chart that is given here this is a very easy question just placing the numbers will give you an idea of the place value of these numbers remember to start from the extreme right corner when you start writing the numbers so when you place 83783 remember always start from the right hand corner 3 will go in ones place 8 will go in tens place 7 will go in hundreds place 3 will go in thousands place and 8 will go to 10000s place i hope you'll be able to do the rest of the questions let's move on to the next question write the following numbers in the international place value chart once again this is similar to question number 1 and here instead of the indian place value chart you have the international place value chart so once more let me remind you always start from the right hand corner So eight seven eight nine two one will be placed like this. One will go in ones place. Two will go in tens place. Nine will go in hundreds place. Eight will go in thousands place. Seven will go in ten thousands place, and eight will go to hundred thousands place. Please complete the rest of the questions also. Here I have another interesting question for you. The first question is seven million is equals to dash lakhs. we just discussed this the relation between the indian and the international place value system so 7 million in the international place value system will be 70 lakh in the indian place value system similarly 10 lakh in the international place value system will be equals to 1 million in the international place value system i hope you will be able to solve this question easily next we have another question put commas to break up the following numbers into periods and write them in words according to the indian place value system so we already discussed this when we are breaking up numbers using commas in according to the indian place value system we place the first comma after three numbers and the second comma after two numbers similarly 
When we are breaking up numbers using the international place value system, we place the first comma after three numbers and the second comma again after three numbers. These two are also very easy questions. I hope you have fun solving them. Now here we have another interesting question. Write the face value and place value of the digit 5 and the period it belongs to in the following numbers. So you have been given six numbers over here where you have to write down the face value and the place value. So I have done one for you. Let's have a look at it. The number is 696547. So the face value of 5 is very easy. It is already 5. The place value here is, we can see that 5 is in hundreds place. So the place value will be 500. And the period that it belongs to is once. Please solve the rest of the questions also. I have highlighted the 5 for you in all the questions. I hope you won't have problem solving them. In case you face any problem, you can always use the place value chart to solve your answers. Remember to use the Indian place value chart only. Here I have the last question of this exercise. Write the numbers in expanded form. So we discussed how to find the expanded form of large numbers. There are two ways that I showed you in words and in figures. I would suggest that you find, write the answers in figures. So here the number is 69591. So in figures the answer will be 60,000 plus 9,000 plus 500 plus 90 plus 1. So this is how you write it in figures. I hope you'll be able to solve all these questions easily. Uh, with this we come to the end of this part of the chapter. In the next video we will cover some more topics from your chapter. That's all for today. Thank you.